House Minority Whip Eric Cantor, Republican from, from Virginia, was in today's the White House meeting. And Congressman, uh, good to see you again. Uh, last night on 1600, we were talking to you about your concerns about the spending bill, that you wanted uh, more tax cuts, less spending. When you presented uh, that, that plan to the president uh, today, what was his reaction? Well, David, you know, the meeting today was, uh, again, it was a bipartisan meeting, is how we can all come together and make this stimulus bill work. So our proposals that, that came from the working group in the House that Leader Boehner put together uh, were very much focused on working families, focused on small businesses, and how we can sustain the jobs we have, stop the layoffs, and create new jobs. Uh, I think the president was receptive to uh, the concept. Obviously, there's some philosophical differences. Uh, we pointed out very quickly, though, that the bill working its way through the House right now, I don't think, uh, reaches the kind of standard that the President has set uh, for his term in Washington. If you look at some of when the you spending... Say that he was, um, when you say that he was receptive, what do you mean? What did he say? Well, I mean, he, he, he said that uh, these, these proposals, uh, there's, there's nothing crazy in here. He said that obviously there's some differences, that they've worked very hard to try and strike a balance in their bill. Our position is this. We ought to be singularly focused on protecting and preserving and creating jobs. And when you look at the kind of proposals that the uh, congressional Democrats have put into their bill, when you're seeing four times as much money spent on grass in Washington, that is actually lawn grass in Washington. Washington than you do to help small businesses, that's, that has your priorities backwards. So let's set aside sort of the pet projects, let's set aside the urge to try and take advantage of a crisis and focus in on what works so we can help families out there and we can focus in on small businesses, entrepreneurs and the self-employed that create jobs. Congressman, as you know, the only way that Republicans can really stop this, uh, if they want to, would be in the Senate. And I was struck that when we heard Mitch McConnell come to the microphones, he was the most optimistic of all the Republican leadership about this getting done in the next couple of weeks. Uh, is Senator McConnell um, in line with uh, your views, and, and what did you make of his remarks? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any question that Leader McConnell uh, is in line with trying to protect taxpayers to try and avoid... Um, a run to go and borrow money and have to spend, uh, rely on government spending uh, to get the economy going again. We know there has to be some mix, but we've got to make sure that we don't burden our future generations uh, because all we're doing is borrowing money right now. So we've got to get it right. We've got to get the tax provisions focused on small businesses, and we've got to get it focused on working families, uh, and then we've got to make sure that we're accountable in terms of the type of spending to make sure that not only it gets out the door right away, but that it's meaningful spending that can relate and ultimately create long-term jobs in the private sector, not just government jobs. Congressman Eric Cantor, Republican from Virginia. Congressman, thanks for joining us. Dave, thank you.